Hi everyone, and welcome to episode 9 of Weekly Car News. Right, so seeing as I didn't do a video last weekend because I was at the Festival of Speed uh, at Goodwood, then pretty much this video is just going to be two Weekly Car News. So, news in the last two weeks. Right, so I'll start off with the news that was a few weeks ago. Um, now, first of all, there's this. Um, this was spotted in London. I missed it, of course, because I never go spotting. Um, it's Chrome McLaren P1. I mean, this looks crazy. I mean, it's just seen going around London in race mode, which you might know is illegal. But um, anyway, yeah, it's pretty cool space. You don't see many. It's like that's like the only Chrome one. I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's just like it's stunning. And yeah, it's, it's cool. This was spotted on the day of the Modball Rally, you may have heard of it, heard of it, heard of it. Um, it was a few weeks ago and it launched from Palma and went down to Barcelona, um, quite a few cars did it, and uh, basically this just started driving around London and stole the show basically. <laughs> right, so more news about hypercars now, um, now the LaFerrari, um, it, they're all being recalled in the US, um, nowhere else, just the US, because it doesn't like comply with all the rules they have. Something to do with the tyre monitoring systems, I think. So basically, all the ones in the US are being recalled, sorted out, but nowhere else, which is interesting. Kind of. There's also an uh, issue with the headrest, apparently, because they don't absorb enough energy, so it would hurt the, pas the, the driver or passenger more if there's a crash. So, like, if it hits the back... Okay, I've, I don't have the back thing, but... So it goes like that, and it's like, it's really... You, you get the idea. Right, so going back to the theme of chrome and rare cars. Um, the third Ferrari F12 TRS has been spotted, it was doing some rally um, in Italy with Ferrari. Um, it's different than other TRS's, if you look at the back the exhausts are different and if you look at the front the headlights are different. Um, I'm not too keen on the headlights to be honest because they kind of just like finish. It looks like the bump has been like, overlapped over half of the light but the oh, exhaust looks um, look pretty decent, I'm not going to lie. Let, let, I can't talk today. Let me know what you think of it down below. Also, like all the other TRSs, um, it's got the see-through bit on the bonnet so you can see the engine, which is a nice touch, actually. It reminds me of, like, American muscle things, which has no idea. No, um, you know what? You know what? I can't talk. Like I said, it was um, taking part in the cavalcade. Is that how you say it? Um, rally, which is organised by Ferrari, a bit like the um, Vanishing Point tour by Pagani. Um, now, what's also quite interesting is the Chrome P1 that I was talking about just a minute ago. It's believed that they're the same owner, which is awesome. Like, you have a P1 and a one of three now F12 TRSs. That is insane. Now, what's more, if you look at the reg on the Chrome one here, which is also very similar to the one there, like very, very similar. Um, which kind of tells me that it, like, they're owned by the same person. So, <laughs> this guy, if this is true, I don't know if this is true or not, but this guy owns two F12 TRSs, which is worth like 9 million in total, plus a million pound P1. That's 10 million. That is mental. Just imagine this. There's three of this type of car, and you own two of them. <laughs> so here's even more hypercar news for you. Um, now, if you've seen my Goodwood vlog, um, if you've gone through the whole 50 minutes or so, whatever it is, um, then thank you. But you may have seen in it that there was a special P1, which is at the McLaren house. Um, now, here's a picture of it. Not my photo. It's one of the ones that MSO produced. Um, and it's like a, I don't know, like a celebration for Alain Prost. Um, but there was also another one there for Ayrton Senna, if you look up there. But that was in the VIP area, which I couldn't get into, sadly. So quite a few, was it about a year or two ago, there was this thing on Top Gear, before it kind of died, um, where they went to China and they found out that the Chinese are pretty much replicating cars that are made in Europe, like, exactly. And um, this has happened to the Porsche Macan. Now this is the real Porsche Macan, and this is the Chinese completely different version, which isn't completely different. It's exactly the same, pretty much. And it's happened to so many cars over the years, and finally, someone is doing something about it. I mean, Porsche are now suing the company, I believe. Um, I mean, it serves them right. I mean, wh why would you do that? Like, they think they can get away with that, just, like, completely copying a design already. I mean, what is the point? And the people that actually buy them, like, why would you do that? I'm angry. So 
So on the screen now there's a few more comparisons just to see how similar they actually are. I mean it is just, it just makes me angry really. Just, yeah, just makes me angry. Grr. So the Aventador SV, I saw it for the first time at Goodwood last weekend. Um, you may have seen it in the vlog if you've seen it already. If not, go check it out. Please do. Um, and Lamborghini have now released that they're going to be bringing out a Aventador SV Roadster. Um, now they've never done this before, so um, it'll be interesting to see what it was like. It'll be like, but I can just imagine it just being an Aventador Roadster with possibly some different wheels. Because if you remember when the Aventador Coupe came out, it had the those wheels, um, and then when the Roadster came out, it had the Dions. I don't know the name of those ones. Sorry. Um, so maybe we could we could be seeing uh, a change of wheel design from the SV um, Coupe to the SV Roadster. Um, also, we could be seeing a s different body kit or something, but either way, it's, I reckon it's going to have the same sort of design as the Aventador Roadster now. Um, so yeah, it's going to look stunning. Can't wait to see it. And uh, if there's any more news, I'll be sure to include it in one of these videos. So moving on to some crash stories now. There's two for you this week. Um, I'll start off with the one that's the most saddening, I suppose. Um, now, it was on the Cavalcade Rally, like I was talking about with the F12 TRS. Um, it's only a minor crash. I mean, I think it would be a front bumper change, and then it should be back on the roads. Um, but it's still sad to see. Um, it only appears that the front is damaged, which is good. Um, so it's not completely wrecked or anything, but it was believed it happened on a racetrack as part of the rally. Right, so the second crash story this week is to do with a BMW i8. Um, now a journalist was, I don't know, reviewing it I guess, in Mexico City and he happened to roll it, which is slightly awkward. But what is quite amusing actually is, seeing as it's on its, on its roof as you can see, and due to the design of the doors, the, the driver couldn't actually get out, he was trapped inside. So um, I don't think he was injured or anything, but <laughs> it's still quite amusing that he, he rolled it and then due to the door design he couldn't actually get out. <laughs> <laughs> But due to the fact that it rolled, um, probably the main like chassis of the car or the main frame um, is probably severely damaged, so I'm guessing it is a write-off. So yeah guys, that is the end of this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If so, then please leave a like as it's greatly appreciated. Also give a comment down below if you've got any ways I can improve my videos or anything like that as I read all the comments like I say in every video. Um, I say that as well, it's kind of awkward. Also remember to subscribe for loads more of these videos coming every weekend except for when I have car shows. So it's not fully weekly, but it's mainly weekly. And um, yeah, I'll see you next Sunday, hopefully, because I don't think I have anything on. Cheers, guys. See you soon.